Hey there. Stephen Church here, Hillman Grove Baptist Church Director of Music. Um, back with you for another hymnal history video. Thank you for those of you who tuned in last week and saw the video. This week we're going to go to the year of 1876. We've got a couple things going on this year. It is the centennial, 100 years uh, of our nation. Also, it's uh, 11 years after the Civil War. Ulysses S. Grant is president, and in November of 1876, Rutherford B. Hayes would be elected president. Also, during this time, the end of Reconstruction era uh, would be coming to an end in 1877, so we're heading to the end of that. A um, couple of notable people during this time, Alexander Graham Bell patented his uh, telephone. Wyatt Earp is now working over in Dodge City. Uh, the Transcontinental Railway has just completed its voyage from New York City to all the way to San Francisco. Um, we are in the Romantic era over in Europe in music. We have composers such as Mahler and Wagner and Berlioz uh, composing uh, great symphonies and uh, operas. Over here, uh, we have a guy by the name of Stephen Foster who is very popular in parlor music. Uh, during the Civil War, he had some, some big tunes going on and his music is thriving uh, during this time as well. Um, a gentleman by the name Robert Lowry, some of you really know him, uh, may know him of him. He is he was a Baptist preacher, and uh, he was from Pennsylvania area, and he was a composer, he was a poet, as well as a preacher. Um, he always thought that preaching was his main thing, though. Of course, that was it was his main uh, calling, um, but the music and the poetry uh, was part of him and all of his poems and, and music was uh, to glorify God. He was known also um, by collaborating with um, Fanny Crosby with her words. So some of her words was put to music by him as well. One of the tunes that I want to talk about today is um, a tune that we've, we've heard many times, we've, we've sung numerous times, um, but it comes from the Hebrews text, Hebrews chapter nine, Verse 22, here it is. Almost all things are purified with blood, and without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Now, there's been numerous hymns written with the context of blood. Um, this one hymn that he wrote was nothing but the blood of Jesus. And I'm going to read a couple of stanzas to you that you may not be familiar with. Now by this I'll overcome nothing but the blood of Jesus, now by this I'll reach my home, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Glory, glory, this I sing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. All my praise for this I bring, nothing but the blood of Jesus. These two stanzas are at times omitted from certain editions, uh, mainly because of the lack of space, um, but uh, not because of the words themselves. Um, very strong words in there. I especially love the verse that says, Now by this I'll overcome, and now by this I'll reach my home. Because that's what we're here for. We want to praise Him and glorify God and give Him all the glory of all, all that we do. And one day to, to sit with Him and let Him say, you know, uh, Well done, my faithful servant. Uh, welcome home. And only way that we can get to him is um, through him. John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes in the Father but by me. Um, it was by his blood that we are able to, to one day see him and to uh, sing with the angels. So...
nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. Oh, no other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Words and lyrics by Robert Lowry. Hope you have a blessed day.